what's up everyone welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to give you a quick overview tutorial of the zoho campaigns email marketing platform and its different features so zoho campaigns allows you to easily create email marketing and sms marketing campaigns to grow your business and attract more customers so what you want to do is to go to their website that's zoho.com campaigns and you can sign up for free here we'll do that in a minute but first let's take a look at some information and more features about the platform if you scroll down here you can see some uh, like templates that you can use some designs and you can view all the templates categories we'll do that in a bit and here you have powerful tools to customize the looks of your emails as well as enter make the users interact with it and test it and you also have advanced email automations to uh, automate your workflow you have contact path tracing you have drag and drop workflows and they uh, promise delivery optimization options to send time optimized for uh, you to make sure the email gets to your customers as well as email cadence and domain authentication and here you have some exclusive solutions for e-commerce businesses you can connect your e-commerce store with zoho campaigns and send purchase follow-ups to increase your sales let's say uh, the uh, customer visited your site left some items in the cart here you can send them a follow-up message to remind them to purchase the product left in their cart as well as configure sms marketing with your own uh, style here some testimonials some reviews and some ratings from uh, some popular platforms right here and you can also see they integrate pretty well with lots of popular businesses and platforms including shopify zoho meetings zendesk and so much more and here you can view that they have an app here you can download it on android and uh, iphone as well and you can see some screenshots of the app here so let's take a look at their pricing pretty quickly at the top here you have pricing And here you get a 14 days free trial and you have two categories for businesses and for agencies now you have a free plan which is of course free which will get you up to 2000 contacts up to 6000 email per month up to five users and so much more then you have the standard plan which is for 81 uh, pounds a month uh, which includes all the features from the free plan as well as some other perks and finally you have the professional plan which is for uh, almost $101 per month paid annually and that includes all the features from standard as well as some additional perks now of course these are yearly if you want to pay per month the prices will be a bit higher now uh, for agencies you have some different plans here and of course you can customize your plan depending on the number of contacts you have so here depending on the number of contacts as you can see here the uh, price is changing and you can see the features of the plan now let's go ahead and create our account here so i'll go ahead in the businesses and then sign up for the free account and here you can sign up with microsoft linkedin or google or use your email to sign up which what i will uh, use so i'll enter my name email password and phone number and then continue the sign up process okay and once i entered my email my uh, name my password and my phone number i agree to the terms of service and then click on sign up and then i need to verify my email so they send a verification code i need to enter the otp that they send me and then i'll be good to go and now they're asking if i want to uh, secure my account i want don't want to use it right now and just like this i am ready to go to my main dashboard okay i agree take me in and here i need to enter my full name which is generated by my email select my role in the uh, company let's say i'm the ceo and then add my phone number okay next and here the company name let's say how to simple and the address um for this case i'm just going to enter a random address the country it detects automatically the country is in egypt and the state city and zip code okay i've entered some dummy information of course if you are signing up with your business you need to enter of course your real correct information next step current size of my contact list let's say less than 500 
company industry, let's say um, I'm in the education. Okay, next step. And optionally, I can migrate all my information from another email marketing platform to import my contacts and so on. So I can do now or I can skip and continue. So I'll skip and continue for now. And here I have my main dashboard. I can add contacts here from Zoho CRM, uh, Bygen and other uh, platforms, or I can import my contacts from a CSV file, XLS or Excel or other types of files. And uh, here I have the steps needed to continue my account. So I need to add contacts, create campaign, automate user journey and invite my team. And here they tell me that I have 13 days left in my trip. Now this is the main dashboard. If I click on campaigns, I can select between email campaigns and SMS campaigns. Let's for this video select email campaigns and I'll show you how to uh, create or the steps needed to create SMS campaigns as well. And here I haven't added or haven't created any campaigns yet. So to create a campaign, click on create campaign here or at the top here. And here I can select between uh, multiple types of emails, regular email, AB testing, RSS feeds, Zoho meetings and webinars and others. So uh, for this, I'm going to create a regular email, create now. The campaign name, let's name it test, save and proceed. In here, I need to add the subject, add the sender, add the recipients from my contacts and edit the content. So if I click on create content here, I can choose between pre-designed templates or a basic template. I can also access the HTML code editor if I am uh, a coder or if I know of coding. Plain text editor, I can import or upload HTML uh, data that I have or recently send email. So I will use the pre-designed templates. And here I can view all the templates that I have divided into categories. So um, I'll just wait for them to load up and then choose one that I like and I'll show you how to edit it. Let's say I like this one click on select template and here I can add elements such as text images text and image social media buttons columns buttons and uh, other types of content so let's for example add a button I can choose between the designs of buttons I'll add this one okay uh, it added at the bottom I can um, move it to the top here if I click and drag I can move it to the top let's say here and if I click on it, I can edit the text here. Let's say, for example, click me. And I'll uh, make it to link to a website, uh, for example, google.com. And here it'll open a new URL or Google will open a new window or the same window, a new window. I can enable RTL layout if I want to. And here the design, I can change the font of the text here inside uh, the button. I can change the text color. Okay, let's make it uh, black. I can change the button color. Let's make it red, for example. I can change the alignment, the width, and the height, and everything. Now, here, let's go back to the main design. I can click on any element here to edit it. This photo, for example, I can, of course, view the settings, delete it, duplicate it, and I can move it up and down if I want to. Okay, drop here. And now I've changed the order. And if I click on any text uh, item, I can highlight the text to change it. So this is a test email campaign design okay and I can do the same with anything images if I click on an image right here or a column I can click on the image to change it or edit it let's change it I can upload an image here to change the image let's close it for now and keep it as it is and I can do the same with all the elements so if I click on the uh, media icon here social media icon Let's add Pinterest, for example, and as you can see, the Pinterest uh, button is now added. And here I can enter the links to all my social media pages here, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, Pinterest, and others if I want. So once I'm happy with all the changes that I have, I can preview and test. Okay, I can view how it looks like on uh, a, an, a mobile device or a computer. And let's scroll to the button that you created. And if I click on the button, as you can see, Google will open up here in a new tab. Let's close it, go back. And here, uh, the final step is to send test email. Now let's close it and let's go back. Okay, save and close the changes that I created. And now I'm back to the dashboard. Now I'll show you uh, in the campaigns, if I choose SMS campaign, 
Here I can create a campaign as well. And going through the same steps, of course, SMS campaigns will be simpler because I don't have to design an email for SMS. It'll be much simpler, but the uh, steps are pretty much the same. Now in the contacts tab here, I can view all contacts, manage lists, manage topics, and so much more. If I click on all contacts, and here I have my own email and other uh, sample contacts that are added by default here to show me the way. I can click on any of them to edit all the information and I can add new contacts from here, multiple contacts or import contacts or sync them with another platform. And here I have my automations. Of course, I haven't created any automations uh, yet. So I here I can create my first workflow or my first automation sequence. And here I have e-commerce. I can proceed here to connect my online store with Zoho campaigns. And here in the library, I have all my data images, email templates, workflow templates, form templates, attachments, and options. And here I can view the reports here and analytics. Of course, uh, they won't show anything because this is a newly created account. If I click on send campaigns, for example, as you can see, no campaigns are uh, sent yet. So that's pretty much it. That was like a quick overview of the Zoho campaigns platform and how to use it.